Hey love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or insight that you truly need it, please go ahead and share. It would be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you were built different to make a difference. It's true. You know, um, we us as empaths is already bad enough as it is we feel like it's like what is this a blessing it, it seems more like a curse than a blessing but it can because we feel things uh at a lot uh deeper vibration than others do we, we pay attention to details that other people overlook you know we try to place understanding with you know within each other you know within our values our beliefs you know how things are seen how things are felt you know stuff like that and if not we, we've gone towards that path to just do that you know understanding that you know uh the things you went through has a deeper purpose you know a lot of times it, it makes us uh you know being able to find out along the way you know we a lot of times we go through very tragic things and we try to understand why me you know, why do I have to go through this? You know, why does it feel like my life is just, you know, it's constantly in chaotic vibrations. And it's just like, you have to be able to get yourself out of that fear vibration or fear factor or whatever you want to call it. You know, we go through this a lot. You know, you're really trying to be able to allow yourself to see things for what they truly are and being able to grow from these things. So I'm trying to be able to hear it, but I don't want to be yelling over this. Um... Uh, you know, you're going through many different things in your life to be able to heal, being able to change. You know, you want peace into your life. And for us to have peace into our lives, we have to be able to use our fear to make this our strength. You know, like it's like we're, we're, whatever we fear into our lives, we face that, we overcome that. But we allow ourselves to be fueled from that situation, you know, because we can create chaos you know, from constant, you know, things that are in our lives where we project that on other people. We feel like we're owed something or we feel like, oh, you know, if I'm going through this, I'm going to make you go through this. But then it gets to that point where, you know, where can you grow from that? You're not, you know, and these are the things that are showing you. You were placed here to, to make sure there was change that really needed to take place. And for that to happen, a lot of us had to face a lot of rocky things in our life. A lot of things that you would, you may have a lot of enemies, you know, accumulated through this lifespan. You know, and probably other lifespans. But these are those things that you had, um. Uh, you know, you had to face to be able to say, I never want anybody else to go through what I went through. I want to be able to overcome the things that shadow my, you know, my shadow my perspective on life. That places fear to make me limit myself, you know, make me have uh, where I, I feel like my beliefs are not, you know, are not real. You know, my my happiness is not real. And a lot of times we don't realize that we, we uh, normalize what we went through and be, being able to say this is what molds our perspective of life and it's like you can be able to allow yourself to step out of that vibration of what has been placed on you you know being able to step out of that loop of what it, what we were told you know what we were made to fear how we were able to be taught to see see certain things the way they're really not you know and it has to take a whole you know moment of reprogramming and that's not easy to do you know that's why we get uncomfortable so much is because we we're moving to different you know vibrations and not realizing that we don't stepped up a whole new level and trying to understand what the heck is going on why you know is this so hard i don't think i have what it takes if i gotta take one more l you know it's, it's just all like that and you don't realize you already won the game before you even started because the fact is you when you know that you are stepping out of bounds of that rebound, you know, of what we are so, you know, what we've gotten used to, you know, when we came complacent in those situations. When you allowed yourself to say, you know what, enough is a daggone enough. 
I want peace in my life. I want to be able to be where I can have people around me that respects me. You know, I want to be able to have happiness in my life. I want to see me, you know, I want to see people that root for me like I root for them. You know, and those things. But then you show, you know, you're you're changing the rules to the game. Because when you get to that point where you put that best foot forward and just say that I'm, I'm about to change my whole perspective out on life. How do I get there? And, you know, universe starts showing you through those different things of life lessons. You know, what you learn from other people, what you learn from your different circumstances, what you learn through struggle, what you, you know, what you uh, do when you thrive. You know, showing you and learning and healing through, you know, moments of setbacks, failures, you know, impulse decisions, you know, manipulating different things, you know, being able to project, you know, fear, you know, and you, you're learning through those situations on how to be able to put that best foot forward. How can I be able to change my life for the better? You know, if I want to have peace in my life, you know, making those choices that, you know, it may break my heart, but it's going to soothe my soul. It's going to strengthen my soul, you know, allowing myself to know I'm, I'm not going to accept anything, you know, in my life. I'm not going to say, oh, this is what I deserve or, or, oh, I'm so used to my life being that way. We had to be able to get out of that, that vibration of where you're so used to how people treat you or you're so used to how people talk to you and stuff like that. But when you get to that point where you know better, you know, you demand better. You you know, you work towards better. It, it's just like you all see everything as an opportunity was a blessing in disguise of what you went through to be able to show you, 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 you are a woman of your word. You are a man of your word where you say, I'm not going to go through this no more. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm creating better in my life, you know, because if we can go thrive hard on trying to make ourselves be heard, try to create drama and all that other stuff that is at a vibration of low level. You know, when we, when we, you know, throwing tether ball with the, you know, with the, with the dynamics of being petty, <laughs> you know, all those different things, you know, you, you it's going to be to that point where you're going to see that your life, your life purpose was bigger than you ever imagined. Cause it's like when I'm talking about that, it made me think about it. Um, that song bigger, uh, by Beyonce, be bigger in spirit. And when I see that, I'm like, whoa. Because a lot of times we don't know how our lives will play a big part on changing the dynamics of how life is. You know, you have seen that through quarantine. You have seen that through the lockdown. When you had to face things, you know, we were so quick. You know, when all that stuff went down, you know, we always had something that we can use. Uh, it, it, it was like a, a coping mechanism that we can use from not facing the things that we really truly need to, to take a deeper look at to heal from to be able to process so we can heal and let go and keep it moving and you had to be able to go through those things and it's just like you know when you see in life when you have gone through so many different tragedies and you are still here because a lot of times it, it can make us feel like God's torturing us you know you you going through so much like the stuff that you went through wasn't enough he created more havoc in your life and this was like when it, it, you know, when I had to look back, and, you know, and really step back, and just look at things for what they truly are, and it's just like I, I can allow myself to be feeling like, oh, woe is me, this and this and this and that, or just saying this is really teaching me, you know, because you get into that vibration when you get tired of being tired, you know, tired of going through stuff like that. But it's just like, you know, a lot of times we don't understand when we start getting comfortable and that reoccurring perspective of where we you know where the growth is really needing to take place and you get like that god will start making things really hard for you <laughs> you know and plus the devil is too because you know you already know man if they if he or she that god or goddesses even step out of bounds and really know that stuff and really about to do it and do what it do and shock their own self no nah, no nah, man i'm about to start using their witnesses up on them I'm going to start triggering different things. I'm going to start doing that. Because like I said, I say that a lot. God and devil come hand in hand. But they got two different agendas on why they're doing those different things. The devil don't want you to see your light. The devil don't want to see how strong you truly are. You know, because it's just like, and you know, a lot of times we question that when we're going through so much. And it's just like, you, you ready to give God the side eyes. Like, you need to start showing me gratitude. Excuse me, sir. You know, it was like, excuse me, sir, hold up. You know, 
I, why should I be grat you know gratitude? Cause I'm I'm struggling through this. I'm struggling through that. You know, I ain't got no help. I, I you know I'm going through this. Cause this is just like you know a lot of times we're placed by ourselves. You tired of being by yourself? God is trying to show you you can make it on your own. You know, friends dropping out your life left and right, become your own best friend. When you got people that stabbing you in your back from folks that you place love on, it's showing you to love yourself. Because when you love yourself, you ain't going to tolerate none of this other stuff. Start being more assertive, knowing what you want in life and go for it. And that's where you understand that your life is starting to make a big difference that you didn't know. And a lot of times, see, it's just like, from what I see, God will just place some stuff in your life and hit you where it counts. Just for you to get to that point, you gonna, I'm, I'm just wondering if I keep thumping you, you're going to keep allowing yourself to just take that and just sit there? Or are you going to allow yourself to, when you felt that lump the first time, and get the heck on moving? Yeah, it's the latter. I'm <laughs> you know, it's going to check up in the second one and move about my life. And then it's going to get to that point where everything you face is going to be a blessing to you. And a lot of times it's hard to see that when you see it just feel like, oh, you know, certain things is, is got the upper hand of me or, you know, enemies is getting away with this and, and stuff like that. And it's like, that's all the devil doing to you because he wants you to be able to believe whatever is going against you is going to, you know, it, it, it's going to conquer. Mm -mm. This is where you got to know the real between the fake and the real, you know, and we already stepped out of that. When we went through that spiritual awakening, it wakes the spirit. It's going to wake a part of yourself up that you didn't know was there. You know, they're telling you to keep showing up for yourself until you know who you truly are within on every level. You know, being able to love and nurture that part of you that was stagnant. Love and nurture that part of you that was placed in darkness for so long because that's where you, you where that's where it roots at. This is where that growth comes in. You were that, that, that little seed that was placed in that ground. You had to be able to face a lot of things in life. Like I was sitting up here watching, what was it? I was on Tubi the other day. And it was like I had this, you know, um, what is it, nostalgia? You know, you had to go back. You know, I had to go way back to the back. Um, and I was watching Stigmata. And I was like, it's like, I don't know about y'all, but it's just like before you awake, you know, like, oh, I like this movie because I love horror movies. And especially my girl, Patricia Arquette, you know, she's been with me for a minute. You know, what was she in that? I forgot Medium. She played in Medium and she played on, um, what was it, part th two or part three of Nightmare on Elm Street when she was with all them folks that was in there placing a crazy home. Because, you know, Freddie, but but it was just like, I always liked her. I always like all the uh, Arquettes and rest in peace to Alexis. But... It was like when I seen it, and then when you see things, when you woke, it, everything looks so different to you. And you're like, damn, this is what was going on the whole time. And you, this is what you saying to me? Because she was just really going through dark night of the soul. She feared connection of being loved. She feared the connection of being, um, you know, uh, committed in different things. That she she pushed everything away. She didn't like stuff like that. Where it's just like it. It, she really had to go through those different changes for her to feel God's love. And that's what I got, a, you know, somebody else I'm probably got a different perspective out of it. You know, that's why I really got, because when I watched that and I watched it again, when I tell you that hit me different, and it was just showing where, you know, seeing where God's love is in a, in a higher connection of you than you ever were able to know. Because there'll be different times that you may go through things, and God understands when you go through stuff it can really hit you in a in a tough way you know you can go through things and you be ready to t retaliate in so many different ways and God is showing you so many ways I got you but you had to see the truth and what was really going on in your life and a lot of times that truth is hard for you to digest it's like a pill you can't take you know but this is your truth but this is just like I I did this to break you but this is making you in a whole different concept because this is what I brought you here for you know, you were built different. You were broomed different and all these things. And I'm not groom. You know, I like using the word groom, but, you know, in a kind of way, you know, when you think about people grooming somebody. But I'm saying it in a spiritual way, you know, because I was just like, damn, do I even want to <laughs> use that name, that word? But it's grooming you to become better because it's just like when you, when you realize your own strength and realize your own power, you know, determination to want better into your life. You had to be placed into a, a, a vibration where you you were seen, but not seen. You weren't you weren't able to be seen for what you truly were. You wouldn't even know what you truly were until you got to that point of uh, 
of growth, of really seeing the truth for what it is. You know, stop living through the lies of vibration. Stop living through the fear of failure or setbacks because those setbacks and those failures show you what not to do. And, you know, you had to be able to go through it so many different times. So where if an opportunity come knocking again, you already know what not to do or what to do. And these are the things that shows you, you, you know, when you were built different, you were formed different, you were transformed into different, you're going to create different. You know, you, you're making a difference w within the world. Because a lot of times we have faced a lot of things in life where we can tell each other stories and be like, really went through all that you, you know you're like Damn, you really went through all that and you still here you know and you go through something like that and you you still you know you can went through the worst kind of predicament in your life and still project peace into your life even when you it was hard for you to even know what peace felt like you had to create that for yourself when you want you share love and kindness with other people even when that wasn't projected out on you you knew what that felt like you didn't want other people to know what that felt like when you see where your wrongs were you tried to write the heck out of those different situations and you see if i ain't never go through this i really wouldn't know where my strength was if i didn't go through this i would never know how to determine and make my life right you know stop doing things that break god's heart to see my heart broken you know, and all those different things. And it's just like you becoming a beast, you know, in so many different ways. It's like because the devil's scared as heck for you to find out how where how your power can really work. Because it's like you can shake a hole. And it was just like God allowed those things to happen. It's just like, and there's no disrespect towards anybody who's facing those different things. But it's just like the example of, you know, when we had those fires in um, Australia. You know, those things was just heartbreaking. Anytime you see where it's just like creating, you know, disaster through like the genocide and all that stuff. And you're seeing how powerful your vibrations are, you know. And it was like, you know, it, it was like I, I said, watch, we're going to have a, a worldwide meditation where everybody's going to chime in. Because you see how this has affected other people. It's just like even, it's like my favorite, you know, uh, totem animal is like a uh, koala and pandas and stuff like that and kangaroos. And just seeing how scared they were. You talking about, I, I mean, I was getting choked up because I hated seeing those situations. And it's like these animals are used to being in the wild. And when you can go to a human and ask him for help. Because you're scared, you don't know what's going on, you know, and it's just your heart's breaking because it's not like you can, you know, stop time and go down there and, you know, let it do what it do. But it was just like seeing how much we all can band together and wanted that to stop. And next thing you know, after that day of that mass meditation that happened, they had rain for like two or three days, I think, or even a week. I cried tears of joy and that shows you this is how powerful your mind is. Do you realize what you can stop in disasters? God, a lot of times God will wreck some stuff just for it to be built back up in his eyes. You know, and a lot of times it's like, well, God killing all that. Look, I ain't, ain't got nothing to do with all that. You know, but I'm just saying it's just like a lot of things that we can have go on in life. And when I say it, something been going on and it, it's just like, I, you know, and I was thinking to myself about this the other day because it was just like me seeing all this different stuff I don't, i'll try not to get on social media unless i'm looking for a post or i'm trying to see what's going on in the world today and all this stuff that's going on and when i'm telling you it, it feels like i'm about to suffocate in all this this damnation that we got around us and this is revelations this is the apocalypse you know you see it people killing their kids on mother's day i'm like really you know then you find out a child you know this woman you know, her parents allowed her to stay in her own filth for years to where she was fused to her own couch. And I mean, it, it was just like, I got to get off of here. But it felt different. It felt different, even though I know life and death is a part of life. You know, it's a circle of life. This happens. When I, but I'm saying, I don't know if anybody else feel that way. Please, you know, drop a comment if you understand what I'm talking about. But when I say it is just happening like clockwork. You hearing about these kids getting killed, you know, people doing hit and runs and killing people's children and stuff like this. You know, things hitting off on, you know, Mother's Day is supposed to be a symbolic day 
of you know giving praises to the person that birthed you or the person who raised you and they see you know you send people using this for a day of death like day every mother's day somebody gonna be thinking about what stupid situations you don't place somebody in on, on a you know on a day like that you know but when I say it, it just something it hits different and it's been like that for a minute where it's like the vibrations are high because since this um because it's like we're supposed to have the lunar eclipse like this on what is it Sunday I think it is Sunday yeah it's Sunday because today's 13th so damn that's why everything going on Friday the damn 13th god dog okay <laughs> this is really crazy even though it's not a bad luck number but then I can understand why I'm just going Willy Wonka like that but you know you're going through all these different things in life to where it shows you you can make a difference you know what it felt like to go through what you went through you knew how hard it was for you to be able to come into a balance that you didn't even know that it was even a discovery of that you had to go through that through the the stages in your life you know excuse me I burp but stages in your life that has taken place that was very tragic to you, very traumatizing, very drastic, you know, and it allowed you to create better into your life because you, you went through that. You know, you really went through that because there's so many of y'all I connect with and y'all drop lines about telling me the things that you face and, you know, it hurt my heart. But then it was just like at the same time, this mess up made them strong. You know, a lot of times people won't be able to because a lot of times we question our strength. Because of the stuff that we go through, the anguish we we constantly trying to you know heal through the pain that we trying to just you know knock off and say I'm tired of hurting by this situation. I'm tired of you know this coming up and remembering what I you know what people have placed on me, what people have done to me, you know, and yet I'm still here. And that was the whole purpose. You lived through the tragedies people don't placed on you. You have lived through the 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 fear that people project on you. They mad because they broke you down in every other way because this is how they they place their fears on you, you know, and don't even realize that because a lot of times the people are like, oh, I wish, you know, nobody will be around them. You know, somebody won't talk to them because they 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 fear, you know, and they look for, you know, uh, external validation. You know, they, they fear about what people think of them. They fear about being alone. And when people do that. They feel like, oh, if I put them in that situation, they're going to know. But then it's just like they don't realize they're sending us towards a blessing anyway because it shows you, you know, when people stop dropping, you know, just start dropping out of your life like flies like that. It shows you sometimes you got to be your own best friend, you know. And I've said it before in my videos where, you know, people have dropped out of my life left and right. And it made me not want to, you know, get connected with people like that. And I had to allow myself to say not everybody is in your life like that. And even though it may have hurt because, you know, you showed your truth and then your truth came back and bit you in the ass, <laughs> you know, from you telling them that, you know, that a lot of people can't handle your story. A lot of people can't handle your truth, you know, but at least you can sit up here and say you learn from that situation, you know, and it's just like I had to get out of that vibration of saying, you know, I, I'm going to keep it very professional with people and I'm just like. If it connects, if I connect with somebody in that way, it happened and it happened. You know, allow myself to be grateful, you know, for that moment, you know, even if it's very brief. God never said, you know, just because we, we be in contact don't mean that person will stay there. And, you know, and just be like that, you know, because a lot of times when we start expecting people to treat us like we treat them, you know, you get very disappointed because a lot of times people ain't going to do that. You know, they don't know how to. There have probably been some times that, you know, somebody that came in your life that was very genuine. They came in your life that was supposed to be a blessing of a lifetime. And you may have, you know, misinterpreted their value when it came to you. Or you may have felt like that they had, they didn't have the right intentions when it came to you. So, because you normalize that with people that when somebody actually did come to you and it was cool, correct, and, you know, they had no intentions. A lot of times when you expect that from people, you, you brush them off real quick. Like, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting like that? You really care about my situation? You really care about my well-being? You know, when you, you ain't used to that. You know, so it, there's a lot of different things that I had to really allow myself to change how I seen it. You know, not take what happened to me personal, but just appreciate what they, what they showed me because it showed me where their triggers, where it needs to be healed at as well as mine. And just being able to be grateful for those things and just keep it moving. And just being able to say, you know what? You know, I'm glad I went through those things because it always spotlighted to me what I needed to heal from, what I needed to learn. Not for me being as an individual, but what I tend to 
create within my connections and being able to learn from that and just not do that again, <laughs> you know, and going about my life. I said, because there'll be people that really want to be in your life because they see the vibration you carry. They see that you went through a lot. They see your transparency. You know, these are the things that they really admire off of you because you're allowing yourself to share your story, you know, share your tragedies and allow them to see what you have overcome. You know, you don't know. And that's why I tell people, you don't know the inspiration from the experience you carry. That could inspire many people that they can use you as that cheat sheet, that Bible of, you know, getting out of that, that, that vibration of existing and survival, you know, but allowing themselves to experience, to grow, to nourish, you know, to be able to do that and grow and saying you, you can step out of that survival mode. We've done it for so long. We normalize that. And it's like, no, it's time for us to experience, you know, to be able to appreciate everything that comes in and out of our lives because it's like, you know, life is too short. You can't force somebody to be in your life that wasn't meant to stay in the first place. You know, but it teaches you so much about yourself and you're, you know, and you're making a difference from the different vibrations you choose to change for the better, you know, and it's allowing yourself to ben benefit off of your experiences that you face on a day to day basis. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of that video. Y'all would love to give a post notification shout out to, uh, what is this? Uh, Dev, Dev, Dev Akira. Uh, I, I apologize if I didn't pronounce it right. Um. Welcome to the fam. It's good to have you. Uh, Storm, much love to you. Welcome. It's time, good to have you. And uh, Lauren, Lauren Harrison, much love to you. And it's good to hear from you. I ain't heard from you in a minute. But um, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below, y'all. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, it's all about spiritual networking. Be able to give you a deeper understanding about your path of, pur your path of purpose. You know, um, just being able to help, you know, the best way I can. You know, I always tell anybody, you know, if you want to be able to talk to me. I, I never make anybody feel like they're being judged or, you know, make them feel bad for the stuff they go through. You know, we all done went through things. We all done did some things that we're not too fond of. So I don't allow myself to give that, that vibration out where it make you wish that you didn't talk to me. But um, I say I help out the best way I can, you know, um, and whatever we speak on is confidential. You know, um, so I leave my link to my podcast from Spotify. And also, if you feel generous enough to make a donation, I also leave my cash app as well. You know, whatever you're placing on into your life, you're trying to manifest into your life. Keep on being persistent and consistent. And even if you have to take a pause for the cause, go ahead and do that. But you jump right back on that horse and keep it riding, cowboy. You know, it's like even if you're the lone wolf, yo, just keep on moving. Just keep on moving. Um. And what else? You know, just keep being persistent and consistent about your manis. You know, these things are going on. I know a lot of things are going through huge transition right now. And may may feel like things ain't going to happen for you or whatever. But, you know, allow yourself to keep going no matter what your surroundings are looking like. Because that's what universe is going through. You know, they always try to show you how's your attitude when you have nothing to how your attitude is when you have everything. So keep going. Because you never know when they're going to drop down on you and drop that bomb of blessings on you open that door of, of positivity of prosperity keep it moving keep going god's got you um and you know i hope you have a blessed safe weekend i did not realize today was friday 13th i'm looking at 13th i'm like oh okay oh oh okay <laughs> i'm like okay let me go ahead and just keep it moving but uh yeah just keep it moving keep going you know there's a lot of stuff that's popping off especially before this damn lunar eclipse it keep going it's just thinking about that mess giving me a headache but i appreciate everything that you know it reveals to me because we really need that to get to the next step so you know keep it safe be responsible you know even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words vibe, frequencies you never know all those things will really take me a long way and i'll see you on the next video much well you'll see me on my next video peace